Let's do Sweet Betsy from Pike, which is on page 35. Let's read the notes together first. G, G, B, D, D, C, A, A, G, G, G. G, G, B, D, G, 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 F sharp, D, 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 G, 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 F sharp, D, B, C, D, E, D, G, B, 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 D, C, A, A, G, G, G. So if you'll notice, the first four measures are the same as the last four measures, and then the stuff in the middle is different. So let's do the first four measures, just playing the notes. We don't have any rhythms in this one that we need to pay attention to. We just have a couple of half notes, okay? One, ready. Actually, let's talk about how this starts. So it starts on a pickup note or an upbeat, so we're actually gonna come in on beat three. So if I say one, two, three, ready, go, because those are the first two beats that aren't there. And then we come in on beat three, okay? One, two, three, ready, go. because we're working on this first phrase, let's look at the dynamics and everything else too. So we're starting on a push bow, on an up bow. We're starting a little bit quiet, and then we have a word that says legato, which means smooth bows. All right, so let's play a little bit quiet and let's play nice smooth bows and make sure you're starting on a push bow. Ready, go. <laughs> our dynamic is the same at the end when we have those four bars again. Okay, so the next four bars start on a down bow this time on a G. I'm going to start, because we started on a pickup note, I'm going to start on the pickup note in the fourth measure too, because that's usually if you have a pickup note at the beginning, there's one every phrase also. And you'll see that in this piece, every four measures, you end or you start on the fourth measure with a half note, which is the end of that phrase. And then the, there's a quarter note and that goes to the next phrase. Okay, so we're gonna start right where it says mezzo forte on a down bow. Okay, no surprises in there. Let's try the next one. This is forte, a little louder. Also, there is one difference between the first four measures and the last four measures. Did you notice what it was? Yeah, at the beginning there's two G's and two and one B, um, and then two D's, and then the last four measures there's actually three B's, so the notes don't change as often. G B B B D. So that one measure that was G B D at the beginning is all B's. But same idea for the phrase. Okay, so let's try it from the beginning all the way through, paying attention to our dynamics, which are our volume markings, right? And then also nice smooth bows. One, two, three, ready, go. <laughs> <laughs> 